University Park, Pennsylvania, the silence that filled Beaver Stadium after Rutgers put together a 15-play scoring drive Saturday afternoon to double its second quarter lead left plenty of room to hear yourself think. And most people had the same thought field goals aren't good enough to score an upset as a 31-point underdog. Rutgers settled for a field goal at the end of a drive that ate nearly eight minutes off the clock just as it did after being handed great field position to start the game, and number 13 Penn State quickly showed it didn't have anything to sweat. With Rutgers again asking too much of an overachieving patchwork defense, quarterback Trace McSorley needed less than two minutes to lead the go-ahead touchdown drive and Penn State never looked back on the way to a 35-6 victory that pleased the restless crowd of 107,531. The difference between the two offenses was on full display as Penn State has playmakers all over the field, including three pass catchers from New Jersey and Saeed Blacknell, Jawan Johnson and Mike Gesicki and a former Rutgers commit and running back Saquon Barkley and Rutgers trudged along like it was stuck in mud. That no-risk offensive formula was enough to beat Illinois, Purdue and Maryland over the previous four weeks, but not nearly enough to hang with high-octane Penn State. Penn State 8-2, 5-2 to to no longer has a realistic chance at a spot in the Big Ten championship game or the college football playoff, but it got back on track after back-to-back -back losses. Rutgers 4-6, to 3-4 needs to win its final two games against Indiana and Michigan State, to become bowl eligible. Penn State improved to 26-2 all-time in the series, including 4-0 since Rutgers joined the Big Ten. Andrew Hart's field goals of 33 and 25 yards put Rutgers ahead 6-0, but Rutgers left points on the scoreboard. It seemed like Gus Edwards might have a rushing touchdown, but he stepped out of bounds at the 10-yard line before cutting back to the middle of the field. Quarterback Giovanni Rescigno overthrew Hunter Hayek in the end zone on third and goal from the eight yard line, prompting Hart to run off the sideline. Rescigno passed for just 43 yards, Rutgers for 157, led by Robert Martin 71, and the defense allowed 306 yards to Penn State. Rescigno's final pass was an incompletion in the end zone on a fourth down throw from the nine yard line as Rutgers tried to draw closer. McSorley answered Rutgers 6 0 lead with a 22 yard touchdown run at the end of a drive that took less than two minutes. He extended the lead to 14 6 with a touchdown pass before the end of the half. Rutgers opted not to be aggressive at the end of the first half. Despite good starting field position 35-yard line and two timeouts. Penn State opened up the game with three touchdowns in the span of four possessions in the second half. McSorley finished 16 of 21 for 214 yards and two touchdowns through the air. He also rushed for 44 yards, which is more than Heisman hopeful Barkley, who had 14 carries for 35 yards and two touchdowns. 